Hey Matt, uh, here you go. Here's how to add a keynote and change its opacity. So I'm on a page in my iBooks author. I have this large image that I'm going to hide a keynote on. So I'm just going to go grab my keynote, drag it and drop it onto a page. Uh, give it a second to optimize. There's my keynote. So uh, I'm going to select my widget and then I'm going to change the layout so that it's shown as a thumbnail. So I'm going to change its interaction so that it's shown as a thumbnail. And then I'm going to change the layout. I'm going to take the title, caption, and background off. So now while it's selected, I'm going to go over here to the graphic inspector. And you'll notice that um, the handlebars are, are kind of around this blue frame of my keynote. Um, however, if I click off of that and click back on it, if I double click on it, um, it's actually going to be on the keynote itself. So now I have the option to change my opacity down to zero and I can make that keynote fade away into the background. So um, the layering does need to be in such, such that it's um, on top of the photo so that when they tap on the hotspot um, they will actually tap to open that keynote and it will open up in full screen so it will push the image away. So if I just quick preview this on the MacBook you'll see what that looks like. So it's up in the top left hand corner. You'll notice that my cursor goes from being a pointy arrow to a finger indicating that there's a spot there. If I tap on it, it's going to launch my keynote. My keynote will then be interactive just like any other keynote. So um, the only thing I'd recommend is maybe putting some sort of indicator in this area to indicate that uh, whoever's using it should tap there to open it up. So that's how you create an interactive little hotspot with a keynote and an image in iBooks Author.